Assalamualaikum guys, how are you? I hope you're doing good and welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you a full review of the latest Pixel Experience Plus ROM. Its Android version is 10. Its security patch is 5 April 2020. There are really amazing and new features in this ROM. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the ROM is pretty stable and recommended for daily usage. There is no any single bug or issue in this ROM. Everything is just working fine and smoothly. The gaming performance and overall performance is also really good. And in the quick settings, we have some really amazing shortcuts. In the launcher, we have pixel launcher with some minimum settings. Then we have widgets and styles and wallpapers. In the styles, we have four styles pre installed. You can create your own by clicking on the custom button. And in the wallpaper, we have some wallpaper from the pixel devices, and they are not the live wallpapers. There are simple still wallpapers. And if you want to install really amazing live wallpaper, watch my previous videos. App opening speed of this ROM is also good as you can see here it is opening the apps quickly and in the camera we have a simple camera uh, but don't worry you can install any Gcam mode or any third party camera from the link in the description you can even install the Gcam 7.3 with the astrology mode enabled now let's dig into the settings in the settings first of all we have the search bar user icon and uh, some notification then network and internet connected devices apps and notification battery the battery performance of this room is also good here we have battery saver and adaptive battery option then we have the display section here we have brightness level dark theme night light adaptive brightness live display styles and wallpaper screen rotation screen timeout and font sizes in the font sizes we have a lot of font sizes and in the display size we have only five types of display size. Then we have lock screen display settings. Here we also have the always on display, which is working fine, and some other settings. Then we have double tap to wake, double tap to sleep, wake on plugs options. Then we have the sound. The sound quality of this room is also good. And here we also have me sound enhancer, which will be helpful to sound enhance the sound quality. Then we have some other settings like privacy, security. In the security, the fingerprint of this ROM is working pretty much fine and uh, accessibility, digital well-being, Google and system. In the system, we have languages and input gestures. In the gesture, we have jump to camera system navigation bar and you can also enable full screen mode by just hiding the pill of navigation bar. It will give you a seamless full screen display which looks really cool then we have prevent triggering and swipe three finger to screenshot which is working fine sorry for the background noise and then we have the buttons in the button uh, buttons we have navigation bar and volume rocker and power button settings then we have the status bar from here you can enable or disable network indicators system icons battery style clock style and battery percentage and some other button settings and quick pull down settings then we have the data and time backup reset options rules i don't know what is this and then we have reset option and multiple users and here we also have long screenshots and many more features which are working pretty much fine as you can see here then we have the about phone section from about phone you can check your android version and uh, security patch which is 5 april 2020 you can install any custom kernel in this rom so this rom is pretty stable and recommended for daily usage if you want to install this rom on your redmi 5 just download the rom from the link in the description reboot your device into an installed custom recovery go to wipe wipe everything except the internal storage and sd card now go to install flash the download rom reboot you will be in this room so hope you like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel